and welcome back to my channel. I'm Urania. Today's video is going to be about the popular Netflix show Bridgerton and in specific all the dating lessons that I got from the show. That being said, it's time to start today's video. At the moment, Bridgerton is Netflix's biggest show ever with about 82 million households watching the show in its first 28 days being online. Bridgerton is a period drama about the high society in the 1800s and it covers topics such as femininity, masculinity, etiquette, high society, marriage, hypergamy and reputation. Dating lesson number one. You are the prize. Daphne is the main female character of the show. And from the beginning, it was very clear that she knew she was the prize and she acted like it. It was never in a conceited or a stuck up way, but it was in the way that she carried herself with much grace and poise. By feeling and truly believing that you are the prize, you're going to get this confidence and this energy around you that is very attractive. Daphne was even called the diamond of the season by the queen herself. And that improved her confidence and her status even more. I also think that when you know you are the prize, you don't have to go around and tell people that you are. People will see it and they will feel it, just as they did with Daphne. Bridgerton dating lesson number two. Let the man chase. Let men chase. It's in their nature to do so. If he is truly interested in you, he will pursue you and he will make it very clear that he's interested. Let the man take you out on dates. Let him court you. And perhaps it won't be a Cinderella ball like we saw in Bridgerton, but there are plenty of other amazing activities to do. As a woman, your task is to show the man that you are interested and that you are available. The ladies in the show would do this by putting on their beautiful dresses and promenade so that the potential suitors could see that they are available. From that moment, it is the man's job to pursue the woman and win her over. I'm talking flowers, dates, you name it. Up next, it's time to talk about the man of the show, the Duke of Hastings, Simon, and the Prince. Well, I'm going to say it immediately. I think she made the wrong decision and should have picked the Prince. And I will explain to you why I think that. The reasons why I think the Prince was the better choice is that the Prince was very clear in his communication. He was very clear that he wanted to get married and he wanted children. He also proposed to her. The prince was very honest in what he felt and what he wanted. And nothing was unclear when it came to him. Up next, Simon. In my opinion, Simon had so many red flags. He was bad when it came to communication. He seemed emotionally unavailable. He pushed her away when he actually wanted to have her closer. Simon is also known as being a rake and a rake is a ladies man. Simon also did not want to get married and he told Daphne that he could not have children, which was not completely true. He didn't want to have children. So even though that Simon or the Duke of Hastings was more attractive and I think everyone was burning for him too, the prince, in my opinion, was the better option. He was the better choice based on my little analysis. I would like to hear from you. Would you have picked the prince or would you have picked Simon, the Duke? If you would pick the prince, let me know in the comment section by using the crone emoji. And if you would pick Simon, let me know by using the fire emoji. I would like to see who wins. Lesson number four, know what you want. Know exactly what you want when you are looking for a relationship. Also be aware of what you don't want and be clear in communicating your wants. Daphne knew exactly what she wanted. She wanted marriage. She wanted children. 
true love. She basically wanted the relationship that her parents had. There was one part of the show where Daphne, her brother, found her a suitor, and that was Nigel Burbrook. She was very clear in communicating to her brother and to Nigel Burbrook that he was not the man for her. Unfortunately, he did not really take that message well. So ladies, date with a purpose and know exactly what it is that you want. Bridgerton dating lesson number five. Always look your best and act like a lady. Appearance and behavior are very important. And all the ladies in the show, they looked amazing and they acted like ladies. Daphne was able to attract all these suitors based on how she presented herself, how she looked and her feminine charm. So ladies, dress and act the way that you want to be addressed. Can we take a moment for the beautiful dresses and costumes that were worn in the show? I read that there were about 8,000 different items made specifically for the show. So nothing was rented. Just imagine the time that went into it. The costumes and the dresses were truly a feast for my eyes. And those were the five dating lessons that I got from Bridgerton. Don't forget to use the crone emoji if you would pick the prince and use the fire emoji if you pick Simon. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I would love to see you again in the next video. Bye.